Starting off as a live streamer can seem really scary if you look at the expensive gear that your favorite personalities are using. But I'm gonna let you know a little secret. No, come here. As someone with over 12 years of experience in this industry, it is not about how high resolution your camera is or how crystal clear your audio is. It's about the content and engaging your audience. You can deal with the rest of that stuff once you start generating some income. So today, we're gonna show you guys how for really cheap, or even free, if you're willing to get a little bit hacky, you can create a complete streaming slash video recording setup to kickstart your hobby or even a career in online content creation. Once you're streaming, you're gonna want some sick visuals to accompany your content, which brings us perfectly to today's sponsor, Owned TV. They provide overlays, alerts, panels, and more for streamers. Use code Linus to save 50% and stay tuned for more later in this video. For today, we're gonna assume that you're looking to live stream and that you intend to use a face cam. If you're planning on filming VOD content or if you wanna stream without a camera, you shouldn't have a problem adapting these tricks for your specific setup or just skipping over the portions you don't need. Most people's first thought when it comes to video is the ubiquitous Logitech C920S. But at nearly $70, it's not the kind of thing that I would consider to be an impulse purchase. Now you can go all the way down the product stack where Logitech C270 can be had for around 25 bucks, but with image quality reminiscent of a laptop webcam, it's kind of like throwing money away because you will have to replace it eventually. Fortunately, there's probably a camera that's better than most webcams sitting in your pocket right now, your phone. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this forever due to wear and tear on both your battery and your device from the heat and it is a little annoying to set up every time, but using your phone is an awesome way to get really high quality visuals without spending any extra money. If you rock an Android phone, download the IP webcam app from the Play Store, and once booted up, enter the listed IP for your device into your web browser, copy the URL, and paste it into OBS as a browser source while adding forward slash video to the end. Set it to refresh the source when the scene becomes active so that you have a quick way to reset the feed if need be. And we'd also recommend setting the resolution to 720p under advanced, along with turning down the stream quality to make sure you're not pushing your phone's CPU too hard. That'll at least help keep heat under control. On iOS, you can achieve practically the same thing with an app called DroidCam. You'll have to download their software and install it on your PC, enter the IP there, and then you can just add it as a video capture device in OBS. It should default to 480p, so run their HD mode program as admin and select 720p if you so desire. Now comes the question of how to mount the phone. If you have a coat hanger kicking around, you can do some bending and make a simple desktop stand. Or if you have a shelf or a desk ledge above your monitor, some tape or a clamp can work pretty well as well. If you're willing to spend a few dollars, phone tripods can be had on AliExpress for just a few dollars and are a little bit more user-friendly. And bam, there you go, video. Well, mostly. Relying on just your monitor to light your face can be a little jarring for your audience because dark scenes in your game will make it hard to see you and sudden bright lights can blow you out. A common fix for this is a set of cheap soft boxes like this newer kit on Amazon, but it's got a problem, it's almost $90 and it requires a fair bit of space to rig up. So once again, we've got a free, or at least nearly free option. Try using an old lamp that you have kicking around the house paired with, ideally, a halogen light bulb. These are better than fluorescents for getting consistent and true to life colors out of your camera. But beware, if you put them right next to you, the light will probably be too harsh. So try using wax paper or some other kind of translucent material as a diffuser or alternately, you can just bounce them off of a wall to soften the light. Just be careful when you're setting it up because halogen bulbs can get pretty hot and you don't wanna start a fire. For that reason, this is actually one case where we'd recommend spending a few bucks. Clamp lights like these from our local hardware store can make things a lot easier because they can clamp right to your monitor stand or a nearby shelf and they're powerful enough to penetrate a diffusion layer or bounce off the wall. All right, so video streams looking great so far. But what about audio? 
Well, if you have a gaming headset, that has a mic attached to it. That's a great starting option. If you don't, and you aren't looking to spend any money, both of the apps that we mentioned earlier have audio streaming options through your phone. For the IP camera app, copy the Opus audio stream URL and paste it into OBS as a media source. And if you're using DroidCam, it will register as a system audio device. So just set it up as a mic in the OBS settings. Finally, you'll need to implement a render delay filter on your video feed to get them synced up. Now that's decent. But because of the style of microphone built into most phones, chances are that you're gonna pick up a lot of keyboard and background noise. It's probably fine for when you're just getting started, but one of your first investments should be something like the Fafine K669, which we actually featured a while back in our cheap mic roundup. For just $34, it's pretty hard to beat. And look, it even comes with a cute little standy stand. Put all that together then and bam. You've spent somewhere between zero and $50 on what I think is a fairly competent streaming setup here. All that's left is to get your stream key, fire up your games, get some snacks, and put some liquids in your lttstore.com water bottle. And of course, check out today's video sponsor, Owned.TV. Owned.TV is a store catering specifically to streamers with products designed for people who are just starting out all the way to seasoned pros. They offer complete overlay and stream design packages as well as sub emotes, badges, logos, avatars, and more. Using their tools, you can cater designs for whatever platform you stream on and all of it can be used with your favorite software like Streamlabs and OBS. For a limited time, you can use offer code LINUS to get 50% off nearly everything in their store. So go check it out at the link below to learn more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to my gaming. Gaming like a gamer. That's pretty sweet. I mean, gaming. you know, you don't want anybody, you, you don't want, you don't want anybody to see your lighting setup. You got your, your light pointed at the wall. You know, you got your, uh, you got your whatever this is. Hold on a second. What, what, what is this? Here's your lamp. You know. Oh, oh, I, I might have derped it. I, I stopped the video. Oh, did I click it? I clicked it. Okay. I think I clicked it. See you later. See you later.